a comprehensive look at trends, fund profiles, and more in Exploring ETFs. Hi everyone, welcome to Exploring ETFs. I'm Nina Mishra and today we are talking about transportation ETFs and these stocks have started rallying on hopes of on rising hopes that the Fed can pull off a soft landing. And a soft landing means that the central bank can bring inflation down to about two percent, which is their target inflation rate, without causing a major recession. And some of the recent economic reports show that that goal is possible now. For example, the Fed's preferred gauge of inflation, which is the Personal Consumption Expenditure Index, PCE, that cooled to 3% in June. And uh, the unemployment rate uh, remains at 3.6% record low rate, uh, despite Fed's aggressive rate hikes the labor market has remained very tight. And when the labor market has remained tight, there are no mass layoffs. That is uh, the reason why consumers have remained resilient and they continue to spend. And when con uh, consumers continue to spend, the economy re remains resilient because the U.S. economy is about two-thirds two uh, driven by uh, consumers. So the GDP grew at a 2.4% annual rate in the second quarter, much better than expected. And uh, the Fed, uh, we learned from the latest FOMC minutes that the Fed is no longer projecting a recession. And in fact, uh, the Fed uh, chair. Powell said that uh, he remains optimistic that the central bank can bring inflation down without causing a deep economic downturn. And the IMF also raised its 2023 U.S. growth prediction uh, in its latest world economic outlook. And finally, CEOs, uh, because management uh, conference calls are watched very closely by experts, by investors, as well as traders. So, so far in second quarter earnings calls, CEOs have been optimistic about the soft lending and uh, they are hoping that the U.S. will not see a recession this year and hopefully not even next year. So, talking about the transportation sector, so this sector is seen as a barometer of economic health uh, because these are companies uh, which are in various diverse uh, sub-industries like airlines, railroads, trucking, etc. These are very economically sensitive. Uh, so, these uh, sub-industries are driven by factors like passenger travel demand, uh, e-commerce growth. Oil prices are a major factor for this particular sector. Uh, and the impressive uh, thing is that the sector has continued to do, do well, even though oil prices have been rising for the past few weeks, particularly past uh, eight weeks or so. So despite rising oil prices, this uh, transportation stocks continue their rally. Now, let's take a look at three ETFs, which are quite different from one another because of their the indexes that they tra track and their weighting methodology. And that is uh, the reason for a slight difference in their performances. So, you should always look at uh, the reading methodology and uh, the holdings of an ETF with, before deciding to buy. So that's why I show those to you. Now, the first one which I'm highlighting is by iShares. It is the most popular product uh, in the space. The ticker symbol is IYT. It follows a modified market cap weighted index, has 46 holdings, 1.2 billion in assets, and 39 basis points expense ratio. 
Let's take a look at the CTF by going to the quote page on sax.com. You can read our research report articles and using the link, you can go to iShares web page for the CTF. Uh, so you, it will hold, provide exposure to US allies, railroad trucking companies, etc. And if you look at uh, the holdings and sector exposure, uh, you will see that air freight and logistics is the biggest sub-industry within this ETF, then rail transportation and cargo, ground tra transportation after that, passenger airlines. Looking at the top holdings, because it is market cap weighted, so these top holdings, the four top holdings, Union Pacific, United UBS, United pa Parcel Service, Uber, and all the Dominion uh, freight lines. These uh, account for almost 50% of the CTF and these four companies will drive the performance of this particular ETF. The second ETF that I'm highlighting is equal weighted. Uh, so it doesn't uh, have the kind of top heaviness that IYT has. It is by State Street. The ticker symbol is XTN. A modified equal weighting scheme, similar number of stocks, uh, smaller compared to IYT, 271 million in assets, slightly cheaper to 35 basis points expense ratio. Again, like, let's take a look at this ETF by going to the code page on zax.com and uh, we can use the link to go to uh, State Street webpage for this ETF and you will see that Cargo, ground tra transportation, trucking companies, etc. They account for about 31% of this particular ETF. Then passenger airlines and after that air freight and logistics, passenger ground transportation, etc. And you will see that uh, holdings are almost equal weighted in this ETF. The third one that I'm highlighting is uh, by for stress. Uh, the ticker symbol is FTXR. Uh, this tracks a factor weighted index has 38 stocks currently. Smallest of the three, 62 million in assets and also the ex most expensive of the three, 60 basis points expense ratio. Now let's take a look at this. ETF uh, what it holds and the sector exposure as well. So uh, as I mentioned, it uh, follows a factor weighted index. So it uh, looks at factors like trailing 12 month return on assets, tra trailing 12 months gross income uh, and then price momentum over the past three, six, nine and 12 months and then uh, it, the, these uh, uh, securities that are selected, they are weighted based on their trailing 12-month cash flow. Uh, so now looking at the sector exposure, uh, it holds uh, delivery services uh, at automobiles, railroads. These are the top sub-industries within this EDF. And if we look at the top holdings, FedEx, Tesla, UPS, and Union Pacific. These are the top holdings in this ETF. And then I have uh, the performance over the past 12 months. So over the past 12 months, you will see that uh, the, two e the first two ETFs by iShares and State Street, IYT and XTN, uh, they have both outperformed the S&P 500 index. Uh, they, they have delivered somewhat similar performances up about 18-19%. Mm. Uh, the S&P 500 index is up about 14% over the past 12 months. And the first stress product has slightly underperformed mm. the S&P 500 index. On the second slide, on the next slide, I have the performance over the past two months uh, where these ETFs have really taken off. Uh, so you will see that I, the, uh, the equal weighted ETF uh, 
XTN is up about 21% over the past two months. IYT is up about 19% and uh, First Trust product is also up, uh, has delivered somewhat similar performance up about 19%, whereas the S&P 500 index is up a little less than 9% over the past two months. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out zax.com slash promo for an interesting offer. Also make sure to subscribe to our, all our videos, our video channels so that you do not miss anything. And I'll see you next week.